Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over creating a correction here on this lady's eyes, changing her eye color from each eye individually. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go through, and we've done a nice primary correction on this shot, and the secret that we go down here is we want to give it as much saturation as possible without overdoing it. So I'm going to take it up to about 81% for the basic node that we have here. We can take it down in a later node if we want to have a desaturated image at the for the final stage. So what I want to do now is create a second serial node and then in that node I will put a circular power window. Now what I want to do is because I don't the, the object that I'm going to be tracking which is her eyes is so small we want to make the window a little bit larger as you can see here so this way I have more points for the tracker to actually lock onto. So what we do next is come to our tracker and now select track forward. So as you can see it found a lot of nice points in there and I only tracked it from this stage here over to the end. So what I want to do here is come to this point in the uh, middle here and then track it backwards. Okay so now we have our tracking information through the entire shot for her right eye. Now what I want to do is actually make this window a little bit smaller and do it something like that. And now let's play it through here. So just as long as the window, her eye falls into that window area at some point there. So as you can see, the window moves around, but still we've got her eye inside there and that's what we want. So now we want to apply the same thing to the left eye. So this is a, where it becomes extremely simple. All we have to do now is right mouse click on the clip and then select display node graph. And as you can see here, there is my correction, the primary correction and the first window with the tracking information. So what I do is I select the second node and drag it into my node graph area until I see the plus appear. Let go of it. Now it's automatically linked into the node tree. Now I can take this window and move it over to the other eye. But if we look down here, as you can see, there's no tracking data. So what we have to do is select node number two. There's tracking data here. Click on the three dots on the upper right of the window and we have two functions, copy track data and paste track data. So let's copy the track data and then come to the third node, click on the three dots, select paste track data now. So, so now all I have to do here at this point is position the window over her eye. And now let's have a look and see what we've got. And that looks good. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to build our qualifier. So what we have to do here first is we come to back to node number two. We come to our eyedropper. We zoom into the picture, hold down the middle mouse button just to pan it around so I can see her eyes correctly. So now what I'm going to do here is do a qualification for the eye area here. So what I'm going to do here is first left mouse click and as you can see here it made a qualification in that area. Now if you wanted to do it just to improve upon it you can then just hold down the left mouse button like I'm doing here and now as you can see the way I clicked on it here and the qualification it found it minimizes the amount of work that I have to do for cleaning up the correction. So what I want to do first is select go down to the saturation take the high saturation qualifier and then reduce that down and then we take the luminance qualifier bring that down and then we bring it and qualify it up like that. 
Okay, so now it's looking pretty good. We need to just denoise it a little bit. And now we're looking pretty good on this one. Now, as you can see here, now it's why I'm doing this with a qualifier is because when she blinks, the correction will automatically vanish. If I did it with a primary color correction, every time she would blink, you would see a spot on her eyelid where the correction was. So as you can see there, that's working pretty well for me. Okay, so now what I can do next is I want to now um, come out of this, go to the other eye. And now what I want to do here, as you can see, if I go into highlight, as you can see, there is the effect that I have or the window for the left eye. And now I want to come over and do a qualification there just by left mouse clicking with the eyedropper on the eye. And then here I can just come over here and just click on it until I get a good qualification and it minimizes the amount of extra work I have to do. So now I'm going to go and do the high saturation like I did before. And then I do the high luminance here just to clean that up and then denoise it down a bit. And then now what I can do here is come out of this now. And then if I push Z on the keyboard, it will zoom me back to full picture. And so now for this eye, I can then do a correction here. And then we come to the other one and we do a correction like so. And there we have it. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a wonderful day.